my related video was called How to Overcome Our Biases with Walk Boldly Towards Them, and it was written by Vernon, My Vernon Myers, by an African-American woman who is a diversity advocate, and this video was filmed in November of last year. And then basically the video is just about how she talks about how everyone has biases, we all stereotype people, we, um, we just make bad, we have bad thoughts about certain people with a certain skin color, and then the problem wasn't that we saw color, the problem is just that the way we act or the things we do when we see color. And, and then she talks about how biases move on from gener generation to generation because we, we people, the people don't say nothing about it. When we see someone make a statement about somebody that's negative, we just look at them and shrug our shoulders and just ignore them. But that goes on to the kids. The kids see that, which makes the kids just think that's okay, that's fine with this. And then um, the way to fix that, she says we have to get out of denial. We need to just stop trying to be good, but actually be good. And she concludes the, her video by telling, younger, by telling younger generations that we expect them to stand up against the injustice and make a society with no biases or no stereotyping. And then my story the, with Maya, um, the themes that we had for Cage Bird was the race affects the way we live and see life. And a quote that I got from the video that relates to this is that biases are the story we make up about people before we know. Oh wait, hold on, I'm sorry. Our default is white. When we see a black face, it is easier for us to connect black with negative than it is white with negative. And this is talking about how we see white as good and black as bad. The connection to the theme is that just because of the color, we make an assumption that they are bad or they, they are good. And she, uh, Verna Myers said uh, an example in her video that the, when we see a black man, people hold their purses tightly, lock their doors, or even just like cross the street to avoid them. So that's just like judging them just because of skin color without even knowing them. And then the second theme I had for Cage Bird was that displacement affects people mentally and physically. And by this, uh, a quote that related to that that she stated, um, we still have in us this old stuff about superiority and it is causing us to embed those further into our institutions and our society and generations, and it is making for despair and disparities a devastating devaluing of young black men. And by this is that we, people still think that race matters, and they think that a certain race is better than another. And by this, we are just teaching the younger generations that this is how life is, which really shouldn't be like that. And we're just making it seem like there's no hope or it makes just young black men seem bad for society, which is not true at all. And this connects to the thing because displacing the, we are displacing um, the young black men from society and lab labeling them only as negative things. And from there, uh, we're just, so that's like, it connects to the displacement too, like as Maya as well, when she gets displaced from society and just because of her skin color, such as the incident with the dentist, where he doesn't want to uh, treat, like, treat her because of her race, he states that he'd rather stick his hand inside a dog's mouth than inside her mouth. So just basically displacing her from society and putting her below a dog. And my third final theme that I had from the cage bird was that discrimination can negatively impact the mind, body, and spirit. And by this, the, the quote that I had that from the video was that biases are sh a story we make up about people before we know who they actually are. And this is just, this quote is basically just stating that we see people without even knowing their story, their background, and we make an assumption about somebody, and which could just impact their lives. If they hear about the things you might think of them, it, puts them and makes them put you put the, you put them down below their standards or other people's standards, you stereotype them. And 
for me, I could relate to the third thing, discrimination can negatively impact the mind, body, and spirit because just because of my race, and my, the way I look, my gender, people would look at me as a, just someone who could probably do something bad. And an incident that I could relate to is just the incident that occurred in this classroom that, or um, the teacher said, well, I don't know who the guy, the guy was, but he went to the middle table, and there was three of us in the middle table, and he said it's more strong in the middle, but he only called two people from the middle table, and I'm not trying to like rat out, like say nothing bad about Lisa, but just because me and Ricky may look like just boys, they didn't expect much from Lisa, so that like impacted me, seeing that that's something that could happen in the future as well, and I need to just make sure that I'm not hurt from that.